Hey, it's Jenny Bryant, and you're watching Title Network for Future Stars of America. This is my favorite place in the world. Okay. So I need stuff for a shoot tomorrow. Um, hey guys. Hi. Good, how are you? I want colors. Um, this is really cool. I want to get it in my size though. I'll get a size medium. Yeah. Um, and then I want to get like baggy pants. I don't know. That might be in like the men's section, actually. I shop guy like these are guys that I have on. I just like guy stuff a lot more. Um, yeah, I'm gonna skip the girls right now, to be honest with you. Oh my God, I love this. Do you like this? Yeah, I'll get a small. Do they have matching pants? Wouldn't this be cool? Um, I really want matching pants to it though. They have it in this color too. I like this more. Um, so the shoot, we're doing like mixture of like new and old stuff from Nike. So I'm doing some um, stuff that I found that's kind of like from the 80s and then I'm mixing it with stuff that's just coming out and it's more modern. So, oh, that dress right there, I actually saw it like a year ago when they like made it and they were showing it to the buyers. So that's kind of cool. Sometimes things aren't approved so they don't actually come out. Um, low key, I really like it. I'm gonna get it because this is cute. So I like this, that could be kind of cool. The thing is like I'll buy certain things but then not everything is actually used in the shot. So we'll see. Um, wait, do you like, serious question, do you like this color better? Or do you like it in the, this? I think this will stand out more, low key. I'm gonna stand out with this. That one? Thank you. Thank you. I'm the most indecisive person in the world, so I don't know sometimes what looks good and what doesn't. Um, I think I want to do... These leggings are crazy. Yeah, because I could do something that like matches with both. So I'll do almost size small. I'll do that. And then... These pants are kind of crazy. My legs are so long that half the time pants do not fit me right. See, they're capris. No, we're not doing this. Um, yeah, I think this is a good start. I think I'm gonna keep these things, and then I think I'll buy a couple other things. I really want a blue. It's like a bright, bright blue. I like these shorts, yeah. That could be cool with this. Um, I like that. And I think I'm done. I kind of know my size. I've tried so many things on from them, so I'm not going to try it on, but I think that's all I need. Okay, let's buy these things and then I think we're done. Leaving? Okay. I'm actually so excited because half the time I keep everything I buy. I try not to because sometimes you can return things if you just use it for the shot but that never really happens and then I lose the receipt and then I'm not really sad about it but that's usually what happens. Then here's my prized possession. I should have wrecked it a little while ago. I have my favorite thing about it is my license plate. <laughs> I felt like it was so necessary. If you speed by somebody, this is the most insulting thing, right? So the fact that then that's the last thing they see about you it just, I don't know, it felt, it felt important to me. So yeah, that's my car. <laughs> Here's my little house. And I live alone, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, I have my portfolio here, which is probably the wrong place to put it. This is what you have when you like go to a client. So basically it's like when you come to an agency, you show your photos of like what you do. Um, yeah, I just took a lot of different shots for work. And yeah, so I have like my more like athletic stuff in here. 
yeah so that's my book and it's just filled with pictures I don't really like showing people it but yeah that's my book and that's what you show up to like a casting you say this is who I am they go through it they look at you sometimes they measure you um, sometimes they take pictures of you called digitals where it's like flat out photos where you can't like catfish yourself like you are who you are so that's kind of when they decide if they like you or not sometimes it goes well sometimes you think you did terrible um, sometimes when I think I do the worst I actually book the job and sometimes when I'm like I did so well I don't book it so it's kind of just like a risk on its own but it's it's a fun job and, and I like it so yeah okay so these are some of the things that I am using for this shoot um, I again I saw this before at the headquarters a while ago loved it I really wanted it but I had to wait like one or two years for it to actually come out but yeah I really like this dress I think it'll be really cool um, yeah you can wear it with like sneakers I know some people I've heard a lot of guys don't like girls wearing sneakers with dresses but I wear them I'm sorry hate on me if you want but I think it's cool um, <laughs> I really love this jacket this is from the men's section honestly please look in the men's section they have such cool things for both but I feel like it has kind of like a vintage style to it, which is really cool. Um, I, I really like it and I think you can style it in a lot of different ways, even like tying it around your waist. I really like orange, so this is a cool tank that has a cool, a cool back to it. I haven't seen this one before actually, but it's from like the Tech Pack collection. So if you want it, that's that. Um, I also got the matching leggings because I just felt like, oh, I'm definitely keeping these. It's a really cool, matching um set and the texture is really cool on them so it'll show up well on camera or if you're just like going on a run either one um then i have these shorts which i really really like and they kind of look like board shorts to me but yeah these are cool again orange is one of my favorite colors uh i wasn't gonna get these pants i remember i said this specifically saw them again and i really want them so i i ended up getting them they are kind of see-through but it's fine um, and they have like again that orange on them which is kind of cool the buckle and they have I think these are coordinates I might be wrong um, but I think it'll be really cool and I'm excited to shoot with these pieces we'll see what they look like on camera everything looks different on camera versus in real life so I really don't know I'm gonna let the photographer handle that he's the pro but yeah that's what I ended up getting today and yeah I'm excited to see what it looks like on camera started I got signed when I was like 14 or 15 so I was a freshman in high school wasn't really thinking about like where it could go I just was really involved in school and volleyball I didn't think far beyond that um, I got some cool opportunities when I was young the first companies that I worked with were Reebok and Adidas and then not long after that I started with Nike so it was a really cool opportunity being a freshman and not really understanding it but just having a fun time yeah it's been really it's been a really great opportunity and experience but it's been hard with school to manage it all and to still like sometimes I have to pull all-nighters because I worked all day and so you know being able to be a student and also the transition to college was really hard for me I graduated a little bit early from high school so I was working full-time then I had summer to also work so by the time that I started college I kind of had to cut that out I wasn't able to work at all uh, the first term I worked maybe like four times um, in 10 weeks which was hard for me because I love to work I love school too but to be able to do both is not they don't really go hand in hand then I would say the second term of school was a lot better my agency has been really great with me and allowed me to be a student and to, you know, sometimes I couldn't do things. I had to cancel. I, I couldn't commit to a job because I had a, a J201 test or 
you know, um, I had to see my professor that day. So there were definitely times where I was upset and I talked to my friends and, and feel like, you know, what am I doing here? I, you know, but an education is really important to me. So to be able to do both is, is really good. I also look super young. Um, so I'm 19, but I could look like I'm 15 most of the time. So because of that, I have years. So when I do graduate high school or when I do graduate college, I'll be able to work a lot. So, you know, it's been it's been a good a good experience. Definitely trying to graduate college a little early is a big motivation for me. Um, but my friends have been really supportive of me. I sometimes had to cancel on them because I have work. Uh, the companies that I worked with during this year of college, I worked for Nike, Finish Line, Adidas, Mod Cloth, and um, some other smaller ones. And it's been a really good opportunity. I'm really grateful and they've also been really understanding finish line has literally moved a shooting date for me because I had a, a test that day and I don't know a lot of companies or people that would be willing to do that so they've been really understanding and supportive of me getting an education at the same time um, after college my plans are I would like to continue modeling and do that full-time again but I still have a degree that I can rely on and be able to use so that'll be exciting um i my dream would be able to go to cape town um, and work there that's definitely a a part of the industry that i haven't really gone to and i'd like to be able to experience that i have friends that work there and they love it it's beautiful it'd be really fun to go there i'd love to be signed in miami la um cape town and maybe new york We'll see, I don't wanna look like an idiot, that doesn't happen, but yeah, it's been a really good experience. I'm grateful and um, yeah, I'm grateful for all the people who gave, who've given me a shot. It's, it means a lot to me, so yeah, that's, that's a little bit about me.